Are you fine? This is no. This is no. I'm just. You're practicing. Yeah, I'm, 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 I was I'm, like, Ugh, hello. No. About to have a couple back to back meetings. One was actually with the canopy, we're working on some stuff, you know, events, you know, content, all that. And then we have another meeting with Sotheby's, collabing. Collabing 2019 is all about collaborations, branding. Check your boy out, follow us, the canopy. This is the area, I think everything works out. I'm going to do the podcast. Yeah. I don't think you move those chairs. Exactly. It's cool people like Brandon and all the people he knows, which he's got a very good roster of people. Exactly. It's fun. Yes. But one thing I like about hotels specifically is because you guys have so many different demographics. So yes. it requires different pieces of content mm -hmm. um, as far as from a volume perspective, but also you have so many different nuances within the hotel. Mm -hmm. Where I see the business travel, you have the four different, you know what I mean? You yeah. have the restaurant, you have the workspace. You have people there. Exactly. So, yeah. so we multiply the number of travelers by the number of perks within the hotel. Mm -hmm. That's the limit list. Yeah. And I was actually already thinking like uh, doing a um, just ongoing like Creative, mm -hmm. like after everything gets, which I didn't put, like put in the original proposal. After everything gets nailed down, like doing like a what to wear, where oh, or that what would to be pack, so fun. which would change. Yeah. yeah, so it's like if we did something like that, that would be like ongoing creative. Mm -hmm. That would be super easy, super useful for people that are coming here for travelers, yeah. right? Okay, February. If we tied it into either what to pack, and Spring then travel could be the first one. Yeah. And then You're going to Mexico for a week. You're going on a cruise for a week. What are you bringing? What are you bringing? But I would want to tighten it obviously to here. Oh. And then also combine it with the time of the year and what's going on throughout mm -hmm. the Pearl. Which there's a lot. Right? So if I say, okay, you're coming to Portland in March, this is what you should pack. The bunny hop's coming. And exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real. That's like the big event, it's the bunny hop. Oh, it comes the shields. Oh, yeah, I hear it. <laughs> I like it. The thing I think for you that's exciting is that just the, the clarity that you've developed over the last year and mm -hmm. really looking at, you know, what you're passionate about, what your skill set is, yeah. where you see opportunity and how those are all, it's all kind of coming together. Yeah. Through, you know, just your vision. That package is going to be offered to Sotheby's. To be completely transparent, my focus is not even taking on wardrobe style of clients, especially yeah. here. Right. But here's a caveat. I'm going to shift my wardrobe style packages as I move into other, other, other areas in here to be on an annual basis. So instead of having a client that pays me $1,500 for a package, it'll still be that price point, mm -hmm. but it'll be that $1,500 per quarter. So it'll be someone that needs to shop on a more frequent basis mm -hmm. and that shops more because it, I can't shop with someone once or twice here right. and have to be here if they, if they use that throughout the entire year, right? If right. you're saying, if you're going to spend $1,500 to shop through the entire year, that doesn't make sense for me time-wise. Because then I have to come back to Portland right. to go shopping for two hours, right? right? Exactly. But if I have someone where I have enough higher end clients, where I just work with them, you know, every quarter, but this is condensed. Mm -hmm. Like, I actually, a client gave me that idea. She was like, Brandon, if you have like 10 of me that, you know, we shop quarterly, that, you know, we get like your $3,000 package and we spend $10,000 a year with you, right. Right. then I have 10 of those. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Right. And so, with that being connected to the Sotheby's thing, I think what I want to do is, I'm open to that, where they're going to get exclusive to just them only, because it's not going to be even offered to anyone else, because everyone else is going to be on an annual mm -hmm. basis. But I think we need to match it to a price point that makes sense, where there's actually the opportunity. Okay. It's not going to be that many, but I think that's the one thing. Sotheby's, you guys are, your brand is obviously already up there anyway. Mm -hmm. But I think we just figure out, like, okay, these are only going to be offered to home sales over 750000 exactly. and up. Right. And I think that's also gonna look better to your sales people. It's Woke Week. We're talking to the students, the business students, marketing students about branding, personal branding, online and off.